Hi, and welcome back. Um, I thought we'd try something maybe just a little bit longer story tonight. This is The Little Mermaid. Look at the great pictures on this. A great event was about to take place in the world beneath the sea. King Triton's youngest daughter, Ariel, would be singing in a concert. Ariel had a beautiful voice, and Sebastian the Crab had written the song especially for her. But when the curtain came up, Ariel wasn't there. Ariel, who was curious about humans, was busy exploring a shipwreck with her friend Flounder. She had forgotten all about the concert. When she found something that had belonged to a human, Ariel took it to her friend, Scuttle, the seagull. He knew a great deal about humans. This is a snarf whack. Scuttle said, examining the pipe. Humans use it to make music. Music, cried Ariel. Oh my gosh, the concert. Sheen Flounder swam off in a rush. Now Ursula the Sea Witch had been watching them with interest through her crystal ball. Ursula had once ruled the Ocean Kingdom, and she wanted to rule it again. I'll find a way to make King Triton's precious daughter help me with my plan, Ursula vowed. She ordered her two loyal eels, Flotsam and Jetsam, to spy on Ariel. Now when Ariel returned to the palace, King Triton was very angry. You must stay away from the ocean surface, he warned his daughter. Humans are dangerous. Then, just to be sure, King Triton asked Sebastian to watch over Ariel. The crab followed Ariel to the secret cave where she kept all her human treasures. Suddenly, Ariel noticed the shadow of a ship moving on the ocean surface and swam up to investigate. She saw Prince Eric playing with a dog on the ship's deck and instantly fell in love with the handsome young man. As Ariel watched, a terrible storm broke up the ship, and Prince Eric was thrown into the sea. Ariel swam to his side and guided the unconscious prince to shore. He's alive, Ariel cried happily as she pulled Prince Eric from the water. She tenderly stroked his cheek and sang to him. As Eric's eyes fluttered open, his dog, Max, and his steward, Sir Grimsby, approached. Ariel quickly swam away. From a safe distance, she watched Eric and his friends leave the beach. Meanwhile, Sebastian was on his way to tell King Triton what had happened on the beach. Someday, Ariel said to Flounder, I'll be part of their world. In the meantime, Flotsam and Jetsam rushed back to Ursula, who'd been watching Ariel fall in love with Prince Eric in her crystal ball. Wonderful, Ursula cackled. I'll use her love to get rid of King Triton. At the very same time, Sebastian was telling the king all about Ariel's adventure. King Triton was so upset that he went to Ariel's cave and destroyed her treasures. Maybe this will teach you to stay away from humans. As soon as the king was out of sight, Flotsam and Jetsam saw their chance. Ursula will help you win the prince's love, they promised the sobbing mermaid. The eels led Ursula, or led Ariel, to Ursula's cave. My sweet child, don't be sad, Ursula crooned. I'll make you a human for three days. If the prince kisses you before sunset of the third day, he will stay a human. If he doesn't, you'll belong to me. There is a price, however. You must give me your voice. When Ariel agreed to the, the cruel bargain, Ursula stirred up a magic spell. As Ariel began to sing, two glowing hands reached out, stole her voice, and imprisoned it in a shell necklace. Then Ursula cast a spell to change Ariel's mermaid's tail into human legs. With help from Flounder and Sebastian, Ariel made her way to shore. 
There she saw Prince Eric. The prince was searching for the girl with the lovely voice who had saved his life. For a moment, he thought he'd found her. But when Eric realized that Ariel could neither speak nor sing, he decided he must be mistaken. Still, the prince saw that she needed help and invited the silent young maiden to his palace. The first day passed happily, but without a kiss. At the end of Ariel's second day, Eric took her on a romantic sunset boat ride. He was just about to kiss her when Flotsam and Jetsam managed to overturn the boat. But Ursula still wasn't satisfied. As she watched Eric and Ariel in her crystal ball, she fumed, That prince will kiss Ariel yet unless I do something about it. That night, the witch changed herself into a beautiful maiden and strolled on the shore beneath Eric's castle. When she heard, or when he heard her singing with Ariel's voice, the prince thought Ursula was the girl who had rescued him. Eric was so enchanted by the lovely voice, he could think of no one else. He decided to marry the maiden the very next day. On the afternoon of her last human day, Ariel sobbed as Prince Eric's wedding boat sailed away. Flounder and Sebastian tried to comfort her. Meanwhile, Scuttle was flying near the boat. He heard Ariel's voice singing and looked through the porthole. Inside, a lovely maiden was gazing into a mirror, but Ursula's reflection was gazing out. Horrified, Scuttle flew off to warn Ariel. The prince doesn't know it, but he's about to marry Ursula, he sputtered. Sebastian swam off to tell King Triton, and Flounder helped Ariel swim to the wedding boat. As she climbed aboard, Scuttle and his friends created a ruckus that stopped the wedding ceremony. Then Scuttle broke Ursula's seashell necklace, and Ariel's voice flew back into Ariel's throat. Prince Eric was overjoyed when he realized it was really Ariel who had saved him. But as he was about to kiss her, Ariel's legs turned back into a mermaid's tail. You're too late, shrieked Ursula, who was once again the sea witch. She grabbed Ariel and dragged her into the sea. When Ursula returned to her cave, King Triton was waiting for her. I'll release Ariel in return for your kingdom, she said with an evil grin. King Triton loved his daughter dearly, so he agreed. Ursula grabbed his crown and magic trident. Laughing triumphantly, she turned the mighty king into a lowly sea creature. Meanwhile, Eric was determined to rescue Ariel. He set out to look for her and found her in Ursula's cave. As Eric rode Ariel rode Ariel away in his boat, the enraged Ursula stirred up huge waves to drown them. But the waves dislodged a sunken ship. It surged from the ocean floor, crashed into the witch, and destroyed her. Immediately, all of Ursula's evil spells were broken. And once again, King Triton was ruler of the Ocean Kingdom. When he realized how much Ariel and Eric loved each other, he changed Ariel's tail into human legs. Soon Ariel and Eric were married with King Triton's blessing and the good wishes of everyone in the kingdom. That's The Little Mermaid. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you tomorrow night.